just got back from Westfield, which is a shopping center in London. I hit Lush and I hit the benefit counter, so I just wanted to do a, a quick haul video for you. I needed some bath stuff and I needed to go and get some mascara. I use Bad Gal Lash by Benefit. I've used just the normal kind for a while and my mascara was really old. The first thing I got was the waterproof kind. It's the black Bad Gal Lash from Benefit. Um, waterproof and I've not tried the waterproof version yet but I find that especially when maybe it was just because the bad gel lash was getting older but it had a lot of fallout at the end of the day and I just was, you know I already have really bad dark circles so it's just getting worse so I'm going to try the waterproof to see if it stays stays off. This is just what it looks like once it's out of the package just bad gel waterproof and I really like the brush seems to be thinner but I'm not sure I haven't really compared it, but it just seems to be a lot smaller, and I and I like that. Next thing I got at the benefit counter was Bad Gal Brown, which is just some brown mascara, which it's just good to have another mascara. And I like this one because the brush is actually different. It's just thinner and just really easy to work with. That's mascara assorted for me for the next six months or so. It's quite good. And then I also picked up Speed Brow. Benefit's really good for a lot of just general makeup magic. And it just is gel, a set, and a tint. It's in, it's in neutral. And that's just what it looks like. It's a nice little brush. It's a gel, a tint, and a set all in one. If you are doing more elaborate eyebrows, you can do all of like your powder stuff first, and then you just set it with that. Or you can just use that, which is what I've done. That's why I got Benefit. And then while I was also in Boots, I swung by the Chanel counter just to look at the nail varnishes, and I couldn't resist, so I got the new Black Pearl, like this. Um, and it's... I was really tempted by the name. It's actually really, really pretty. It's like a... If you can't see, it's like a greeny, bluish the luminescent. They also have just pearl, which looks really good as well, but I decided to be good. And I went to Lush and I went a little bit crazy. So I've been having some issues with my scalp and my hair for a little bit because it's been winter and my scalp gets really tight. Um, so I decided to pick up Hair Doctor which is a mask for your scalp and for your hair. It's, you know, a, one of those pre-washes. I've probably talked about Marilyn before. Just put it on for about 20 minutes before you take a shower. And you just, it's like a face mask, but it's on your head. Along that same line, I decided to try uh, snake oil, which is just some oil um, in the form of a bar, solid bar and you just warm it in your hands and then you give your scalp a massage supposed to just kind of stim stimulate your scalp. I got the Happy Blooming Cherry Bath Melt which is, it smells so good. It smells like just, you know, that really artificial cherry candy. It smells really good, I like it. That bath melt's really good because you can chop it up into three and then you have three bath melts. So. Three for the price of one. Yes, that's the only melt I got. Two bubble bars. I got Dorothy, which is obviously based on Wizard of Oz, and it's a rainbow. And I like this because it's almost like two bubble bars in one. It smells really good, like fresh and just really nice, and I really like it. And I just, I usually only use half when I take a bath because I usually put it on top of them. Um, uh, a ballistic magic mushroom, which I've wanted to try ever since I saw the Lush video, but I can't wait to try a magic mushroom. A ballistic girl, I love taking baths. I love taking Lush baths. So, along the lines of the magic mushroom, that's a brand new product. What it's called, I think it's called like Kiss a Frog or Magic Prince or something like that one of their Valentine's Day ballistics and I'm pretty sure once you put it into the water we'll see because I'm going to do a video on it uh, I think the prince comes out floating out from it 
and it turns into it because you kiss a frog and you get your prints. Um, but it's one of the Valentine's Day ballistics and it smells pretty good. Dragon's Egg, which is awesome. I've never actually tried it before in my bath, but I've used Bog, which is kind of um, like the Christmas kind of version, and it just turns into loads of different colors. It's really fun, and it's a big, big bath bomb, so it's for major soaking time. A couple of Geophizzes, which are my favorite of all time bath, bath fizz. Mm, my god, they smell so good, especially at Christmas time. I mix these with winter winter bath, and they're just, it smells like Christmas tree, like a proper, like, evergreen forest. Mmm, god, I love it. Geofizz. Space Girl, which is another ballistic, and basically it's just got purple glitter all over it, so it turns your bath glittery. Pink, which is really fun, um, turns your bath pink. It smells fruity, actually. kind of expect it to smell floral, maybe because there's floral flowers on it, but it smells fruity. And I got another because I, I don't know, I'm just a fan of limited products, but another one of their Valentine's Day products is called the X Factor. It's a bath bomb, and so I got a couple of him, and I really liked it. But yeah, so I actually had a bath with this just before I started making this video, one of them. And it was really cool. The water was like bright blue. It made me think of holiday. That's it. So that's my haul. And that's it.